everybody this is Alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen look at this San Marzano tomatoes bellissime freschissime stupende take a look this one looks exactly like a little cornicello un piccolo cornicetto uh, they're beautiful uh, finally the seeds made it across the sea we're growing them here in New Jersey and I want to show you why the San Marzano tomatoes because take a look inside Okay, look at that. No water at all. All pulp and very little seeds. Yeah, I'm going to cut it again just so for you to have an idea. What we are doing today is I am going to be making a fresh tomato sauce. So the first process is we're going to uh, uh, cook these to make the passata and then we'll make a sauce that you could use right over pasta you could use it for your uh, eggplant parmigiana so many ways to use the passata di pomodoro I have fresh basil and uh, let's get started rinse the tomatoes and let's get them cut up first thing I do is I remove the little top then I go straight down and I like to remove this green part right here. So just with your knife, be careful and just remove this piece, okay? And then you don't need to really cut them in any specific shape, just uh, even in half is fine. Look at that, look how dry the tomatoes are. And that makes for a nice, uh, uh, delicious sauce. Here it is. Maybe you could quarter them if it's easier for you to remove the stem in the middle. So, see, just like this, and then slide down and add them to the pot. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, actually, I just remember I want to share a couple things with you. So, here I am. So, while I do this, uh, I'm gonna tell you a couple things. When I buy the San Marzano or any kind of tomatoes that I'm going to use for cooking, leave them out on the counter one, two days. Do not refrigerate them because you want them to continue ripening and più rosse, più saporite. The redder, the more tasteful. So I got these a few days ago. I just left them out and look how gorgeous they are. I just want to see, show you again uh, inside uh, how they look different than a plum tomato. Also, another thing, this brings back a lot of memories. The aromas bring back uh, memories as this is cooking. Because when I was a little girl, and uh, in August, they would buy hundreds of pounds of, um, of tomatoes. And with my mother, my nonna, my aunts, my uncle, the kids, everybody was hands-on. And we did this and we jarred them. And that's what we ate throughout the winter, the jarred sauce that we would make. And those are all fond, beautiful memories. Um, the kids, what we were allowed to do, because not, we did the passata, we also did the ones where apacochelle, they would call them. So basically they sliced them, and that was used when you cook the fish because you needed the pulp. So then we would put them in the beer bottles. So the, when we have beers, the, the, the beer would get washed, the bottles would get washed, and then we get stored to make the uh, pomodori. So then we, the kids, we were allowed to shove the little tomato pieces in the bottles and then using the back of a cocchiarella, push it down. So those are the memories of my childhood. So let me continue on. I hope I don't bore you with my stories. Fresh basil in, okay. Don't add any water. I'm going to already add a little bit, I'm going to say about a teaspoon of the salt. I like IUC salt, um, more natural salt. Let's walk over to the stove and uh, continue. No water in it. Here, this is what it looks like. I'm going to place a lid on it. So, uh, so with the evaporation, the, the tomatoes start cooking and release their own water. And we'll check back uh, in about 10 minutes. Okay, you see it's releasing water now. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the lid off, keep the flame on um, medium, I have it on medium low, and just let it cook down. These were about four and a half pounds, of, they were about two kilos, four and a half pounds of tomatoes. So let's let them cook down and then we'll uh, 
look at it another 10 minutes beautifully it's ready now now to the next step of this amazing recipe there's really no other way to do this because if you put them if you put the tomatoes in the blender you're going to uh, crush the seeds and that's where the bitterness comes out of the tomatoes and also you're grinding up also the skin this is where I use a food mill uh, we call it passatutto in Italian and it's something that a must have in the kitchen because I use it a lot for my beans and my soups and uh, I just find myself using it quite a bit okay I'm using a wooden spoon on the side so like that it's balanced on top and let's go ahead and strain the tomato sauce I wish you could smell the um, the fragrance, not the fragrance, the aroma of the tomatoes. Okay, here it goes. Now, don't forget, I, I cooked this for about 40 minutes because you're going to recook this again. So, um, it was enough. Okay, let's see the pulp. All the pulp comes out and all the um, seeds and the skin remain behind okay, that's a just... this is what you're left behind with the seeds and the skins this all the pulp from the bottom Get started for the sauce now extra virgin olive oil I'm gonna say about three tablespoons okay it could be a little bit less a little bit more depending also how many tomatoes I have a chopped small onion I'm gonna just add it right in have your heat on medium and start the sauteing process for the uh, onion on uh, low heat you see how beautiful the onions just need to sweat and release the flavor in the oil now I'm going to go ahead and add the the passata di pomodoro in there it goes and you want that sizzling see that I'm gonna add only a little bit you know why lo voglio soffriggere look at that I love when the tomato release um, its flavor into the oil. Ecco qua. See that? That makes a little bit of a difference instead of just putting everything all at once. See that? Let it just fry up for a few minutes and then we'll add the rest. The rest that we in. Okay. Let's get some more fresh basil in. There it goes. Give it a stir. Bring it up to a boil. And now you know the trick. Wooden spoon across, lid on, and we're going to let it cook again. Um, check back in a little bit. I think we're ready to go. Come and take a look. Look at this. Look how beautiful. The sauces. I want to show you the thickness when I pick it up with the ladle. You see that? Unbelievable. Okay. Let's get the pasta done and we're ready to eat. A good sauce deserves a good pasta. Today I'm using Rumo di Gragnano, one of the best pastas around. Someday I got a hungry crowd looking at me, staring at me. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell button. You'll never miss a video of my recipes coming up. Thank you again. Grazie. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Buon Ferragosto. Today is August 15th. It's Ferragosto in Italy and it's a big holiday. Uh, alla prossima. Ciao, ciao. Ecco qua. Che bontà. I have no words, delicious.